Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to send large files to the API, whether it's MP3, video or images, we can easily send files to the API. So these are my list of files that I need to send to through the API. So in order to send the files to the API from Xamarin Forms application, you have to first of all, check it with the help of postman whether we can just send those files to the api or not so my backend developer had told me that this is the way i need to send the files to the api that is the form data way there are two type of ways we can send the file either it's in the form of string or the form data way so in order to send large files we have two parts that is key and the value inside the form section so the data has the JSON that need to be sent and the left side is the string that is the key and the right side is the data file. So you might have one data that will be like only the string that need to be sent or only one file as per your requirement. Here I have multiple files that need to be sent to the API. So let's do it inside the Xamarin Forms application, the implementation part. Now you can see over here the way that we send through the postman is the same way we need to code it so let me drag that postman windows over here so that we can just compare what is being done so here you can see the work write document which is in the key section of the postman is coming from the preference that is it is storing some image file location that comes from media file plugin then we have a final json as like this that is i have serialized one json file and then converted to a final json by converting a model class to a json file then our three files you can see over here file number one file number two and file number three so these preferences are storing some image file location and then this file location are going to be called I'll show you how it is done. So here on this line of code, this is the authorization token that is application class JSON that need to be added as same way. Now the three files that I was talking about, right document, license front image and the license back image. So this is how stream of data that is, we are going to tell that this is the stream content that is we are sending some file. So file stream one, two th and three will collect all the information from that specific file location then it will add it to the content and this line of code you don't need as per the requirement if you want to send some dynamic data that is you can see over registration doc and the insurance doc if there are multiple registration doc and insurance doc then we need to add that code so adding that item dot resume number plus the registration doc that item dot resume number is like some dynamic numbers that are going to be added with the registration doc as an extension so this is how we're gonna send those uh, dynamic contents using the for each loop you don't need to add that as per your requirement you just need to integrate that's all using the post method we can just send the data to the api